Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back and welcome to another video in my ranking series that wasn't supposed to be a series but has become quite the series here on my channel. So this is the fourth video like this that I'm doing. I have ranked my palette collection, my highlighters, my blushes, and today by request my bronzers. And this category was both easier and harder than the other ones because I don't have that many bronzers. So that kind of made it a little bit trickier because I love them all so much, but it kind of made it a little bit easier because I didn't have as many to debate between. But I do have seven bronzers and I have one palette that is exclusively bronzers. So that's going in this ranking as well. So we're going to be counting down eight if you haven't seen the first three videos, I actually created a playlist for this series. So if you want to watch those, I will leave it in the description box down below, but let's get into the ranking. Now, before I share number eight, I want to remind you that I love all of these or they wouldn't be in my collection. So even the products ranked on the lower half, I still recommend and they're still high quality. But number eight comes from AOA Studios, which is the $1 brand from the Shop Miss A website. And this is a cream contour. It retails for $1 and the shade is Fawn. Now, the reason that I ranked it so low is because it's very, very cool toned and I'm not super into contouring. So I'm just not reaching for a product like this too often, but for that purpose and especially for the price tag, it's something that I would recommend. So if you need a contour stick, this is a good one. I mean, it's pretty tiny. You're not getting a lot of product, so it's probably not valued too much higher than a dollar, but I do think that it is pretty high quality. Coming in at number seven is my bronzer from the brand 100% Pure. So I have the Coco Gem Bronzer and I believe this is the lightest shade. No, this is the lightest shade and I believe they have two shades. So I'm actually pretty close to hitting pan on this. This is one of my favorites. I actually do really like it. But again, I only have eight to rank, so they all have, they have to go somewhere and I would realistically rank this a little bit lower than the others. It does have a really beautiful sheen to it. It's a little bit glowy on the cheeks. This is pretty pricey, but 100% pure is obviously a very natural brand. So I think that's where a lot of the price tag comes from. The sixth spot is something from Fiona Styles. So this is a brand that used to be sold at Ulta and they stopped carrying this brand about a year ago and I was able to buy this on an incredible clearance deal. I got this for like seven bucks or something super cheap like that. And this is a favorite in my collection, but I don't tend to reach for it too often because it's in a palette format and I'm typically reaching for single pans instead. However, I do really like this formula. I actually have the medium to dark palette. So there are the swatches of all three. Again, these are nice kind of neutral tones, so they're a little bit better for contouring. They're not as good for giving warmth to the skin. And my preference with a bronzer is something a little bit warmer. I don't mind an orange orange slash red bronzer. I kind of like that because it just gives a look like I've been, almost like I've been in the sun, have a little bit of like a fresh burn, which is not something you want, but I kind of like the appearance of that because it just looks so natural. And coming in at number five, the last bronzer in the bottom half. This is a liquid bronzer from Juice Beauty. This is one of their photo pigment boost products. Now they do have two of these. They have an illuminating one and a bronzing one. And this is the bronzing one. So they do just have one shade, unfortunately. I hope that my microphone picked up all the noises of that coming out because that was some nice ASMR right there. Kind of sounded like a fart. Tilly getting in my closet as always. But this is what the swatch looks like. It just applies very intense on the skin and sometimes you'll look at it and be very intimidated thinking, okay, I'm not gonna be able to blend this out. But it's one of those effortless products that you can just sit there and buff it into the skin until it fades into the other products. So it looks so intimidating when you apply it, but it, it works out pretty nicely. All right, I got up and wiped off the excess and it looks a little goofy right here, but that I think that's a good example of how it really blends in nicely and if you just work it into the skin, it will fade down to a nice natural finish. Now we're moving into the top four. These are my go-to bronzers. And let me just say that ranking the bottom four was pretty easy. It was pretty obvious where I was going to put all four of those products but I sat here for a very long time trying to determine between these top four because they're all like neck and neck. So just know when I'm saying, oh, I like this one more than that one, 
I like it just a hair more. Like all of these are on a level playing field of being fantastic. I highly recommend any of these four, highly, highly, highly. So number four comes from The Balm. This is the newest bronzer to join my collection. This is their Take Home the Bronze bronzer. And I have the lightest shade, which is called Oliver. They do have a total of three shades. And they claim for this formula to be a little bit more neutral to cool toned. So they work really well as contouring shades, but they're also nice for someone who feels like your bronzers just end up looking too orange on you. These are marketed as being anti-orange, so you're really not gonna get that effect, and I can definitely attest that. Now, when I first got this, I thought that I would just end up using it as a contouring shade because it is a nice undertone for that, but I've noticed that if I really buff it in around the skin, it just has this nice glow. It makes you look very healthy, and it doesn't look too gray. It's cool toned enough where you can contour and and get that definition but it's not so gray that you look sick or it just looks really artificial on the skin it's just honestly the perfect tone now bronzers three and two I would honestly say are dupes for each other they're so similar but the third one is my butter bronzer from physicians formula I would say this is many people's favorite bronzer and I actually just repressed mine I had a giant pan in this basically taking up almost the whole surface area so I had to repress what was left of it and the thing about this bronzer is you get so much product the thickness of the pan is unbelievable so it's a pricier product for the drugstore coming in around $14 but you're absolutely getting your money's worth because finishing this up is hard work so this is a really beautiful formula it has a bit of a glow to it I like a bronzer that has a little bit of a sheen it's not too matte on the skin so it kind of livens up the skin and just looks like a natural warmth and sunniness on top of the face and that's what I get from this bronzer. But I pretty much find that one to be a dupe for bronzer number two, but I like bronzer number two just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit more. Oh, I didn't swatch the butter bronzer. Let me go back. I'll hold you waiting for what bronzer number two is gonna be. But if you watch my channel a lot, you probably already know what bronzer number two is gonna be, but that was the butter bronzer. So number two is the Sunlit Bronzers from Becca. I do have a little baby pan on this up here, and I have the shade Bali Sands. Now this formula is so similar to the butter bronzer. They're such close dupes. I mean, the colors are not the exact same, but Becca has quite a few shades in this. So you probably could find one that's the exact same. There it is again. And back to the butter bronzer, I always get this question. I have mine in the shade of light. And then in the Becca bronzer, I have Bali Sands. I just find this to be slightly more soft when you dip your finger into it. I also find it to have just a little bit more radiance on the skin. It just gives you this stunning glow. It makes you look extremely healthy. So that's why I rank this just slightly higher than the butter bronzer but they're neck and neck and if this is out of your price tag the butter bronzer is basically a dupe all right and the top spot now let me preface this by saying that this might not be for everyone because my number one bronzer is a cream bronzer and that's just my preference i love a cream on the skin i think it just looks a lot more natural but if you prefer a powder i would definitely recommend the other ones that i talked about but if you're a cream girl like me and actually even if you're not a cream person I still recommend this because it might convert you. This is the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzing Stick, and I have the shade Baked. This does come in two shades, and this is the most effortless cream formula that I have found. So you can apply this directly onto the skin. I know it seems gigantic, so you probably won't wanna place it down and draw it on that way, but but what you can do is roll it up and take the side and place it on and then blend it out with a sponge or your finger. Oops, this does not roll down. There we go, pushed it back in. But my preferred use and probably my recommended use is to take the Real Techniques sculpting brush. This is my favorite brush for creams. I just pick it up directly off the product and then stipple it into my skin like this. And it's going to apply and almost perform like a cream product just in terms of how effortless it will be but it's going to look more natural on the skin because it has a little bit of moisture to it, so it kind of mimics your skin's texture and finish, and it's especially nice if you have dry skin. So that is easily my number one, didn't even have to think about it. But since this video was so short, I did kind of want to throw in some honorable mentions because there are two bronzers that I finished up in 2018, and I thought maybe you'd like to hear my thoughts and where I might rank those actually. So the first one that I finished up was the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. These were recently reformulated and I had the shade Milk. And where would I put that one? 
I think I would put that at number five. I like it just a little bit less than my Take Home the Bronze bronzer, and I would have to bump down my Photo Pigments because that formula just blends into the skin very beautifully. The smell of chocolate is amazing, so that was one I definitely enjoyed, like, as you can tell, because I used the entire product up. And the second bronzer that I finished in 2018 was my Ulta Beauty Cream Contouring Stick. And that one I would have ranked probably just below the Too Faced one because until I discovered my Milk Makeup bronzing stick, that was my favorite contouring bronzing stick, cream stick, what am I saying, formula. But my issue with that is it does fade a little bit throughout the day and I do not notice that at all with my Milk one. My Milk one lasts all day long, but the Ulta one was so easy to blend into the skin, like probably the creamiest cream formula that I have found. So I hope that it was kind of fun to hear those honorable mentions and where or how those would have changed my ranking if I still owned those. I thought that'd be a nice way to spice this category up since I didn't have too many to mention, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Which item should I rank next? You guys have been giving me a lot of great feedback. You told me you wanted to see bronzer next, so that's what we did for this video. And I think the next one maybe will be foundation. I've definitely had a lot of requests for that, so let me know, but I will go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Bye.